Hello everybody, welcome to Scarcity TV, whatever you do, make it count. This is that guy you know nothing about behind the mic. How are you today? Hope you're doing well. If not, please do take care of yourself and everything's gonna be okay, right? So, this is a new video for the day. Uh, please do make sure that you do check it out. And while you're at that, man, please don't forget to wake up, play, hustle, and repeat and let's get to the video take care Three changes from the team that labored to a late win against a stubborn Chippy United midweek. Aubrey Madiba was dismissed in that one and he sits out through suspension. Meanwhile, Tabaho McQuinn and Neil Maema, having both started every league game so far, are resigned to spots on the bench. And I think as for Mamelodi Sundowns, we know they're going to continue how they were playing and Mvala was very impressive knowing that uh, there is a shortage in that position as well. So it will be very impressive as well to see Mbule in that midfield with Mkholisi. Uh, Chippy United are Sazi Gumbi and Saziso Magawana. Lungelo Dube returns, having missed that match with a knock. He had started every game prior, and the co-coaches will also be relieved that they can reinstate on start. Take a Modise, take us through the lineups. Yeah, I think with Gordon Arrows, you can see the reinforcement is on the midfield. That's where Dube and Lamin will be key. I think they need to bypass that pressing chart that Mami Sanans will be employed, and also try and view it differently yeah. as a Yen prepares to deliver and the little Chilean has been able to locate Peter Shalalile off balance can't do anything with that now Pule Mori he's in a pretty decent vein of goal scoring form at the moment and Mori is marauding down the flank actually uh, that move so proud maybe to try and cause any problem from Mamli Sanders using speed going forward mm. and you can see here Modi here bypassing three. Mudao had to cross across the pool. Kulise. Charlie. Mbule. This is Swane. Caressed into the path of Mudao and Shalulile arriving. Thwarted at the near post by Kumete. Games which is very impressive. That's the area ball that uh, Mudao played. You could see also he mm. took a bounce just in front of him, but Kumede there being unable as well to hold on to the ball. Look at that bounce that it took. But Shalilile as well, you know, running into that first. It's a good ball down the flank. Cut back. And lined up. Straight around with Williams. He makes a routine save from Dwandu. Played by Sibia. And uh, Dwandu with his wicker foot, but he, what he did where was it just to try and hit the target. And uh, with all the world, and he progressed down the flank. Gupeni lefts it in just over the head of Peter Shalulile. Now Mudao retrieves it. Mbule harried by Lunga, but gets away from him. Tembezwane and just touched. Wired by Peter Shalulile, who didn't have um, Mulele doing very well to protect the ball. Timberzwani, as he as thought that the ball was going to go out. Look at Shalulile making sure that he gets in front of Zuke, gets that touch. Uh, he knew he didn't have much of an angle to yep. work with, just trying to open his. Uh, can't get the better of Pule Mori. Once again, Arrows insist on playing out from the back. And Modao with another opportunity to launch it. Allende now. Wide. I think from a golden hour standpoint of view, I think the you know, good ball there played from Modao. Allende there, I thought he was going to put it on his left and trying to hit it on his left and then he's trying to bring it to his right. I think that's where he made the angle a little bit more awkward for himself. But Gordon Arrows as well, you need to understand when there's too many numbers in front of you. Allende he selfishly appears to have gone for goal. And you have Mvala there, that is mm. strong aerially. If you recall as well, the game they played against Chipa. That flick from him as well, make up the... Andile Jali. A brilliant barrier. Bule to Allende. Peter Shalolile. 
It's being tricked here by Clady. Shalilile gets away from him. Foul by Gumede. Surely a penalty. And it will be. Those clear penalty. Look at the referee, right position, be able to spot. But the strength that he used for Nagi, not to be able to to intercept the ball or just to try and poke it out of position. But Mkhadi, like, unlucky to see that come off his knee and back into the path of Shalulile. Yeah. And Namibian showed a uh, great feat to coach Kumedi. Half a dozen for the season. Peter Shalulile, easy as you like. Well, he blew everyone out of the water in the past term that i think defensive they've been solid until to this point you look at the clock there look at the time they're conceding as well but great for oh. goalkeeper to move they like it being unfortunate being the one that actually put the ball in the path of peter Shalidide. peter being smart as well making sure that the goalkeeper doesn't get near the ball very clever penalty of course Gumeda went to the right direction but there's power behind the ball Well, once again, he's leaving the rest of the league strikers in his dust. Six goals for the season. Got it to Timberswane. And now in behind for Shalulile, who's onside. He left the ball behind, still Shalulile. Setting it up for Zwane. For Mumbule. Look at Shalili breaking that offside line, getting in between the two defenders. It's very difficult to to defend that because you, as defenders, you're watching the ball. Timberzwani there, defenders as well. Lunga making it difficult for Timberzwani. Oh, so not enough defensively, and those are the counter attacks they're supposed to at least try and finish their attack. Here's Mori. Put him on his ball in, and it's gone all the way in. His rich vein of scoring form continues. Well, if indeed there was no touch, that's then three in three for Pule Mori. A very difficult ball to defend. It's an in-swinger, throw-in not marked. And uh, Modi cutting in as well with a strong foot, that ball. And also with the bodies in front of him, I think Ndwande also disturbed him. And I think that's a great goal for Golinaros. Back the game now, it's equalized. No touch at all. No touch. The goal belongs to Pule Mori, who is now just one shy of last season's tally, and we're still very early into this campaign. To Allende. An opportune slip there. From Flamini, and a save by Gomede. Uh, Timberswane dancing past uh, a couple of opponents. See a few players slip there and also from Lunga as well, not trying to be very aggressive. It's inside the box, it's always dangerous. Timberswane is the awkward angle, but Gomedic come to the rescue. Knox Matisse where delivers in with pace. Ronan Williams hasn't made a clean connection. It's a lovely little touch from Claudio of all people. Just trying to keep the ball leveled up by Williams. Yeah, not convincing clearly to uh, introduce uh, the Bolivian just recently returning from a long spell out with injury as Knox Matiz chops back inside. Timberzwani, Mudal, low ball in. Allende left it. Peter Shalulile was following up. Kulise now. Good header away. Last decision from the flank was brilliant. This time he's played in Zwane. Cuts it back. Oh! And it's got it. The Montful Golden Arrows can't deal with the Mamelodi Sundowns pressure. Timber Zwane got in behind. And when the ball was played back into a danger area, there was pandemonium in the 18-yard area. Sundown's lead restored. Indeed, pandemonium in that area. Timberswane being given an opportunity to run on the right-hand side. May made a run, nobody followed him inside the box. Lack of communication. It resulted into an own goal. What an unfortunate follows him. The late there with Lung Lunga there. Look at inside the box. So many numbers of golden arrows. Being unable to clear the lines. Unfortunately, therefore, do for, for, for low with it to be able to and with his weaker foot as well as a right footer, you can see desperate clearing mm. inside the ball. 
are desperately unlucky for in global and Kulisa Modal twice in succession has made two good decisions on the flank a little earlier with that low ball in that was uh, not utilized properly by Allende so Matizua steps over it and it will be Sabia that's a fierce driven shot it had uh, Ronan Williams a good shot on him he's got a good technique as well not far off from the target and also those those incoming runs they make it difficult for the goalkeeper as well to decide I, I just think if it hit the target we'll be having a different conversation right now